Hi everybody, Greg Keim, broker owner of Keim Realty. Today we're going to be talking about where home prices are headed. Stay tuned. Today let's talk about the latest quarterly home price expectation survey. This is a survey of over 100 economists, real estate experts, and investment market strategists. These experts were asked the following question. What's going to happen with prices over the next five years? Let's get some historical perspective on this. Pre-bubble, before there was a bubble in the bust between 1987 and 1999, the normal annual appreciation in the country was 3.6%. During the bubble, the number nearly doubled to 7.1%. During the bust, on an annual basis, prices fell 5.4%. And since the recovery of January 2012 through December 2016, the annual appreciation rate is about 5%. So the bottom line is the real estate market has recovered. Prices in most parts of the country have either reached that 2008 number or are about to reach it now. It's 10 years later and they're about to reach those record numbers again. So what does this mean? Well, <clears throat> What we like about the home price expectation survey is that these experts project where prices are going over the next five years. And here are their projections. This year in 2017, we're going to be a little bit below 5%, still above the 3.6 historical number, however, below the 5% appreciation we've experienced over the last several years. Then over the next couple of years, it's going to slow up. The market's going to swing back the other way and real estate values will experience slightly lower than 3.6% appreciation, according to these experts. So what we see on these graphs is that the acceleration of appreciation is going to slow up. The good news is there are no red bars. No one is projecting that prices are going to fall. That's not what anyone's projecting. So please don't look at any headlines that are saying that. Go back to what over 100 experts are telling us. As a matter of fact, as we take a closer look at the home price expectation survey, then we can look at the cumulative house appreciation by 2021. The length of the survey that they cover, we can see that all projections by 2021, prices will all go up just under 20%. The bulls in the survey, the top 25%, the most optimistic, think that prices could be up well over 25% in that five-year period. However, even the bears, the most pessimistic, the bottom 25% of those experts, they even think that over the next five years, prices will be up 6.3%. So that's important as we take a look at what this group thinks is going to be annual appreciation and actually apply these projections to a house purchased in January of 2017. Let's take a look at what happens to the equity of this house. Not even talking about any buy down of the mortgage, just the equity based on appreciation, we can see that year over year, someone that bought a house in January 2017, this is what the house will be worth if the projections are correct. So a family that bought a house in January of this year, five years from now, is going to increase their net family worth by almost $43,000. That's what they're adding to their family's net worth by purchasing a home. I think it's safe to say that now is a great time to purchase. Here's a quote from the president and CEO of CoreLogic. Last year ended with a bang, with home prices up over 7% nationally, led largely by major metro areas. We expect prices to continue to rise just under 5% in 2017 due to a lack of supply and continued high demand. So CoreLogic is confirming what the group of 100 experts believe, that appreciation this year will be just below that 5% point. CoreLogic actually forecasted the year-over-year -year percent change in price by state. So here you can take a look at Michigan's projection compared to other states. The good news is Michigan is forecasted to outperform the national projection of 4.7% at 5.6%. And finally, um, here are the thoughts of the chief economist at Quicken Loans. Tight inventory has been a key contributing factor to the year-over-year -year growth in home value prices. This steady growth could very well lead to more availability, driving homeowners to consider cashing in on their growing equity by putting their home on the market. When this happens, it will open up new opportunities for eager buyers. So with prices going up, 
there's more equity that homeowners have in their homes. And the bottom line is if you've been considering making a move, be aware that you most likely have positive equity. It's worth noting that prices have gone up so much in the last five to seven years that there's extra equity in your house. If you're thinking about making a move, now would be a great time. If you'd be interested in an equity evaluation, we'd be happy to put that together for you. Give our office a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you have any questions about today's content, give us a call. Have a great day.